sodium hydroxide that we calculated that we needed to turn this 30 gallons of waste oil that we collected from our restaurant into a fuel we can use in our tractors. Now the way we do this, we put out of 6.6, .6, or we put basically 7 gallons of methanol in our methanol tank. We use about 5 pounds of air, and as you can see, it's bubbling, it's bubbling the sodium hydroxide and the methanol together. Now this is an exothermic reaction, so it puts off heat. Uh, this will get to about 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on what the temperature is outside. Um, so this puts out heat and it gets hot. Okay, so you got to make sure you have an approved polyethylene or polyurethane tank. Uh, I believe they like for you to use polyurethane now more than ethylene for these tanks. But you can purchase any of these tanks uh, from any agro agro business, uh, agricultural business. Okay. So we have our methoxide solution mixing, our methanol and our sodium hydroxide is mixing. It's, being, it's an exothermic reaction, it's getting warm. So at the same time we're mixing our tank of methoxide, we're also warming up our waste vegetable oil. Now we just have a, a hot water heater, a 50 gallon hot water heater. We put about 30 gallons of oil in our hot water heater. We have a element here in the bottom of our hot water heater that we turn on, and it takes it about 10 or 15 minutes to heat up this 30 gallons of oil to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit max, okay? So remember, we said we needed our waste vegetable oil, we need methanol and sodium hydroxide or some sort of catalyst. You can use uh, potassium hydroxide if you wish. We need heat, and we need to mix it. And so we have pumps that mix and mix and mix our solutions, okay? These are just uh, one inch water pumps you can get from Northern Tools. They're very reliable pumps, and this is what a lot of people use on their home biodiesel stations, okay? Uh, they're very cheap, they're about $70, so they're cheaper than the collection pumps, but the collection pumps have to handle a lot more dirtier uh, particles and whatnot than these pumps have to handle, okay? So we're heating up our oil, we're mixing up our methoxide solution, and what we're going to do, when this oil gets to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to mix these two together in this hot water heater tank. But before I do that, I will turn off my element because I do not want any electrical current going to my uh, element here in a hot water heater because I don't want this flammable product to have any reason to combust. So when this oil reaches 130, I turn this element off. And then I mix my methoxide solution into my tank and it will continue to mix for four hours. Remember, you said it needs time as well. Um, we've calculated out from the oil source that we have. Um, remember this oil titrated a little bit high. Uh, a good titrating oil I like to see is a two or a three. Our oil titrated at five, so that means this oil does not have all three of those fatty acids attached to the glycerin. So we're not going to get a really, really, really good conversion from this oil, but it, it's, it'll make a fuel to run our tractors and our trucks. 